Welcome to my lab. Come on in. Hi, my name is Alison Ritchie. I'm a scientist here at Kings Park in the Biodiversity Conservation Centre. I'm a restoration ecologist uh, who works in science here and at UWA. So restoration ecology is the science of how to restore landscapes, mainly after mining or agriculture or any other disturbance. So I work in how to restore these ecosystems back to what they originally were, hopefully being biodiverse ecosystems. So for restoration ecology, the most important part uh, for the science and to restore ecosystems is to get some seeds. Seeds are the start of any plant species and we need to collect them in order to put them back into the environment. But in Western Australia, a lot of our seeds are really weird and funky. And I'm saying that because they require different stimulus in order to germinate. So that's for a seed to turn into a plant. So here at Kings Park, we do a lot of work in figuring out how do we collect seeds from wild populations to put back into restored landscapes and what we need to do to those seeds in order to make them grow. So for a lot of our seeds, when I said that they were funky and require different stimulus, some of them uh, require smoke in order to germinate. Some require that you scratch the seed surface to allow water to come into the seed. Some of them are really heavily dormant, which means we need to put them through different growth cycles, tricking them to germinate. So this is called a Symbopogon ambipogus, and you can see it's really hairy and fluffy. It doesn't have any issues with germination, but one of the issues we have is trying to put it back into the restored landscape. Because it's so hairy and fluffy, Naturally, it would use this as a dispersal mechanism, meaning that the seed would fall from the mother plant and fly away using the wind and disperse into the landscape. But for us, it becomes really difficult when we're trying to put it through seeding machinery because it gets all clumpy and stuck and it doesn't pass through. So one method that we have in order to try and decrease the fluffiness is to take off all the hairs and appendages that are on the seed. And one way of doing that is to use a flaming device. The seeds go past a flame, taking off the hairs and awns, making the seeds um, smaller and also easier to pass through machinery because they're not sticking to each other anymore. Even after we've done that, we can add a coat to the seeds, making it even easier to pass through machinery. We can also add lots of different chemicals to this coat. So if this seed had issues with dormancy, so that's the funky seeds that have problems germinating, we could add the smoke chemical caraquinolide to the seed coat and then help stimulate its germination. We can add all different other things to the seed coat um, to allow it to flourish and grow in the environment. What we've found is that a lot of our restoration sites or degraded areas have a lot of weeds and weeds are a big issue when it comes to trying to establish native plant species. One way to remove weeds is to use herbicides, but we've found that herbicides also affect our native plants that we're trying to put back. Basically, it's trying to create a herbicide protection pod around the seeds. Activated carbon actually soaks up all the herbicide and keeps it away from the native seeds, protecting them and so that we can sow native seeds and spray for herbicides at the same time. So I've got a question for you. Can you tell the difference between a weed or a native species, whether it's in your backyard or down at the local bushland area? If you know, let us know at Kings Park. Thanks for seeing what I do here at Kings Park.